Welcome back to Get Slated. Get Slated 5, head with Hall makes some noise! <laughs> Wanna get the first battle of the day? Go to the Champions and producers on the left. Uh, shout out to Richmond Taxis and uh, Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsors the event. Uh, right, on my left, South Shields, make some noise for Jack Sexton! <laughs> Go there, Adam Seaver Juice is on the right. From Lancaster, representing Rap and Wire, Neil! Yeah. Beginning yeah. second round, first round of Jack Sexton, let's go. Are you sure it's your whole body? Seems like you're lacking a rib three. Because of full fucks missing you, shit MC. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you need a stack of yellow pages just to spit to me, because you're not on my level. Literally. <laughs> if I big a shit something bum and dumped, try and kill me, you get done and slumped. How are you gonna punch me chin when you can barely reach me nipple with a running jump? <laughs> so if your mind's telling you to fight, switch then. I've got a long reach, I could jab your face all night and rip skin ways. You can't get on certain rides for the height restriction. <laughs> I will beat you like an angry mother man. Hold your arms, reach while your T-Rex arms are slugging man and slap you <laughs> in the other hand. <laughs> in the last part I call pamphlet a war total. And yourself a blaster, you sound a violent pet. Well, you're a squirtle, level 5 at best after a line of cat. <laughs> <laughs> your style's one dimensional. You're ball rock when it's tight to step. Because you've got some good punches, but you can't kick it with this rhyming vest. Because I'm the end boss, end bison when we right and left. When it comes to writing, he gets all kinds of stressed, and there's not until the battle, not much time to prep. His mate leaves his laptop over when it's time for theft. And you fight the fuck out of his lines, getting those incisors wet. And buy some when we write on that. And buy some when we write on that. I'm not joking, I'm just realizing when you slow it down, it sounds like end biting if my writing left. Woo! <laughs> and who are you trying to be, Nero? You're too influenced by gangster movies and you want what they have and you say fiasso. You're walking around all edgy after three beers and all. That tough talk doesn't work on me, yes, so you need to get off Robert's day, Nero. Woo! Nice! mention the height like everybody does that just makes you a dumb fuck because my height is the perfect height to lick your bird out while I'm stood up Woo! <laughs> so it's my first battle of 2013 and something just ain't right but who the fuck's giving me this gay guy that can cage fight I'm not even the same height <laughs> fucking hell but do you want to know what I found out about Jack Sexton? The fact this faggot fucking had lessons in how to pack rectum <laughs> and he thinks smacks pleasant and fuck knows why I left all this prep till the last second but you don't want to get me vexed, mate. You look like you've been in the steads lately. And big up Adamsy for having me. Now it's time for Jack to get slated. See, I got Ooh. told you live in a poxy house. And I was going to get personal, but stop me now. Because this guy's a fucking cage fighter. He'll probably just knock me out. <laughs> but you will admit you've had... <laughs> but you will admit you've had brighter days. And you were so far in the closet because that's your hideaway. And ever since battling pamphlet, you think flavoured condoms count towards one of your five a day. <laughs> <laughs> And you probably give the excuse that it's alright and it's not gay to be constantly around males But you're a bit of a racist and you disrespect your own city by never drinking brown ale And you are the type of guy who will go out in a strapped frock And you would never get sexed on even if you took the jack off And I've already said you was a bit of a racist, you've got a white playstation and you've never played Black Ops <laughs> <laughs> And I've just made this shit up it's not really racist, so I don't have to demand answers because during my research I found out that Arabic people gave the people from South Shields the nickname Sand Dancers. See, I spit bars that properly rhyme, and you can't see me, but you're probably fine. This fucking knob isn't blind, it's just visually impaired due to the fog on the time. <laughs> see, I've travelled all this way today to give you hassle, and up until last week when I typed Jack Sexton into YouTube, two battles. And I thought fucking time tees were some sort of shirt I had to wear when I got to Newcastle. <laughs> and your fucking accent bores me bro. And the way you tried to force the floor. So I'll leave this cunt dead on a beach in South Shields for looking like a fucking extra from Geordie Shore. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I've gone for gay jokes, even though you're a straight bloke. It's because you look like a faggot, Jack. I mean, you'd see a cock and straddle like you massive twat. Now I'm saying fuck you to the Alex Reed of Battle Rap. <laughs> and check it, this guy does not make tracks. So we can say, in actual fact, that I've got more flaws. And um, can I just ask you one question? What the fuck is the point with your nose? <laughs> Admit it, I've done a course before. I'm not going to lie and talk fiction here. But if you lost the same amount of weight I did since ditching gear, you'd disappear. <laughs> 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 if you haven't already, watch this battle with Tight Raw. 
two dudes that were edgy as fuck. Like the Charles that drive that tight car. <laughs> he was prodding you in the chest so much, I thought that you might spar. He pushed you around like a little bitch, did you fight? No. <laughs> right, right. You said, push us again and see what happens. Like you're gonna swing through it. Five forks later, your hand doesn't think you <laughs> Me, I'm not having that. On the street, you will grab a slap. So if you dare do that in this battle, I'll do nothing. It's battle rap. <laughs> See, your crew are cut from a different rag of cloth. If we were about to fight because I'd slide you off, half of them would start acting rock and shouting, Jack, you soft, I'll smash your box. Well, backing off. <laughs> They're the clever ones. No try to grab a top, I'd snap it off. When I grab a lock, it's tighter than the trunks of Hasselhoff. <laughs> snap it off, I'd stone, I'd give them a pash of rocks. See, the other half would start trying to surround us and grab a shot and snatch a watch. But they're stupid, I don't know how to Because when the tapper drops, snap a pop, that's when the smashing stops. Because if we grab a box, it's like letting a bottle of aftershock. You wake up the next day wearing nothing but your bastard socks. <laughs> <laughs> the other half will be trying to hold you back so you can look tough. It's 1.5. Me master shit, fuck up. See, my team is cut from a different type of cloth. These street fighters will treat you like the car in the mini games and write you off. They know you're all type of soft and that I like to fight a lot, so they let me fuck bitches up by myself when it's time to rock. Best wingman since Chewbacca and the pilot box. <laughs> See, Paul, <laughs> <man. laughs> Half men will be taking bets on whether I submit you like a Gracie's choking or knock you out like Paul Daly's throwing. Other half whipping out the HD phones and making sure that shit goes on World Star and Daily Motion. World Star! Uh, World Star. <laughs> <laughs> so it's me by myself against 10 of you winning. 10 to 1. That's how do you win it? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Alright, team Nero. Everything you just said was hella boring. People came here to listen to a rap battle, all you did was tell a fucking story. <laughs> and check it, this guy has no logic. And whatever he just said, I know I was the topic, but how the fuck can I flip it when I didn't understand a fucking word of it? <laughs> See, we could go for it. Show me how a bout feels. It's no stranger that you're from South Shields, but when my punchlines make their impact, you're just so blind you should have wore your mouth shield. See, I bring heat like the hottest summer. And I can be thick sometimes, but fuck me, this knobhead's dumber. Telling me before the battle they've been diagnosed with AIDS, I just thought, what a bummer. And when the joke's on you, I don't have to make this fight a swing, but I will compare your MMA career to gay porn, watching two blokes fist each other inside a ring. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen them fights on YouTube, always brawling other cats, but I also think it's pretty gay when you're hugging men and rolling on a mat. You fucking dumb bellend. <laughs> See, I'm a hit with the ladies. I get gashes from slags. You take repeated headshots, you literally get gashes from lads. <laughs> and you did what everyone else did. You called me some sort of munchkin elf. But be original, fucking hell. Because I ain't no pussy. I'm the type of guy to tell this fake Chuck Liddell to suck himself. By now, he's probably thinking, I'm going to leave this man lamp toyed. Whereas I'm thinking, you look like a wank camp toyed. Frank Lampard. <laughs> <laughs> and I might have come with lesser boys, but I guarantee you'll get annoyed. But not with me, with yourself, because this faggot thought a pal driver was anal sex with hemorrhoids. <laughs> and check it. I've, tra <laughs> I've travelled all this way today for the sake of about eight minutes for fucking entertainment. I told him to whip the road jack like that song, he was outside punching the pavement. <laughs> See, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> that was a thing, huh? See, I'm a raving dog with a snap muzzle. You're looking a bit rough. Jack Russell. And one thing we have in common, yeah, we both crack glass jaws, but you pretend to be a pirate in South Shields, referring to your birds as Jack Sparrows. <laughs> and check it, up until last week, you had three battles, but one never got seen, like a black goth. And it's no joke that your boys ain't... <laughs> like a black goth. And it's no joke that you might act all nice, but your boys ain't cold, so you could never be Jack Frost. And you're just another addition to my tally. Just one of Nero's victims, boys. If Jack gets wound up with my music, I'll have to put this prick in a box. Oh, bollocks, well, I fucked that bar up. But anyway, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> if, yes, if he gets wound up with my music, I'll have to put Jack in a fucking box like a children's toy. Time. Yeah. But with that swaggy, you spoil it. Either you're nervous as fuck, or you've been sniffing coke in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you all so angry? You suck your feelings, man. <coughs> Walking around so sad, it's like you fucking need a grind. Scratch that, you fucking need a plan. So you either need to grow up like fucking Peter Pan, or life you need up and leave it, man. So decide, act your rage or slit your wrist like a Justin Bieber fan. <laughs> <laughs> and you always seem so rushed when you're on tracks, my friend. 
I feel like your rap style were better than a boxing match with men. Step in the ring, you're smashing them. Because your punches are so awkward that nobody's catching them. <laughs> so I feel like it's a waste of effort that you give to me. Because your punches go over people's heads like a blind dude fighting a cripple, see? <laughs> so you feel a rap for the same reason Triple B feels as a postman? Shit delivery. <laughs> in this South Shield scheme, I might not seem fit. Because the chances of you understand it seem right. But your mum's funny is like Ocean Road. Big, old, never clean there. <laughs> And you know it's been shared by more than 13 braids because the Indians, Chinese, and Italians have all been there. <laughs> and since you and your little brothers keep mouthing shit, I guess that makes a room the wood bite. There's a little charm of shit bags keep coming out of it. <laughs> For those of you not around here, it's the street restaurants. I'll go to Ocean Road to get fed. The woodbine's a ghetto, you get stabbed and robbed if you're holding the bread. I was going to sniff coke off your head, but I thought that metaphor would be doper instead. Cause that's what you know how the crowd feels when your lines go over the head. <laughs> You've been in this game years. By now you think you know what's best. Nah, nah. Listen to these songs, it's grotesque. <laughs> you and rap are a worse combination than Fred and Rose West. I've covered some listeners today, just to rip him. I'm visiting. I don't mind the fact your last round lasted so long, just as long as you don't mind the fact I wasn't listening. <laughs> See, you'd probably get offended if I told you to shut your suck hole. And when I Google things to do in South Shields, apart from pub brawls, the results said absolutely fuck all. <laughs> and I didn't mean cage fighters when I asked for other challenges, but you're a fucking shit fighter in a rubbish battle and making you a double amateur. <laughs> See, you look like you took claws from butch hoes and you suck loads of tough blokes and fuck knows the actual reason behind why the fact you've got a fuck nose. <laughs> I see it's early, and everyone in this venue is here getting tipsy. Listening to this knobhead try and diss me. I mean, he'll probably flip me, but he doesn't even look like a joy, he looks like a fucking gypsy. <laughs> you know the type of guy who's in the mirror often, making sure everything's prim and proper? <laughs> see, I'm sick, but get him a doctor, and I would lick cunt stubble, but this cunt would death or rim a copper. <laughs> and my boys are some nowadays Shakespeare show players when compared to your shit straight from the Stone Age. And I looked up Sexton in the dictionary, you know, mate, and talk about ironic because you just fucking dug your own grave. And I kept my distance today because I didn't want to get close Because your breath smells like you've been fed prawns and red sauce and dead quartz And the rest all you'll be body bagged and then transferred to a graveyard But only when my head's stoned See I reckon you and Pamphlet would have made the cutest couple And you'd probably flip that with some fluke rebuttal But this battle to you is like a bladder infection Because if I get pissed off then you're in trouble mm. Nothing? No. Yeah. And check it, I do this shit for the fuck of it you just look like you're scraping through. See, I've skilled you like a backwards teacher because now I'm degrading you. Mm. And this wanker is the type of guy who I would love to give cancer. And you, should... <laughs> <laughs> you, should fucking, you should just fucking give up because it seems you've lost interest. Like a shit banker. And you, uh, and you fucking think you're a bed magnet. I mean, you were probably raised Arab and every item of jewelry you want is like genetically modified veg, fake carrots. <laughs> And with a bit of a beard, this gay flag that will therefore resemble Wade Barrett. And I'm not talking about a workout. I'm not talking about a workout when I say that I've got a high rep and you've got a low rep. So to me, you're possibly nothing. But I also think it's pretty gay when you went to a gym and do loads of squatting and thrusting. <laughs> and check it, I've travelled all this way today to make this male cry. And inside, I will make this fucking knob die. And now for my grand finale, I'll let you know that your mum's pussy tastes like a dry steak and ale pie. I'm tight. <laughs> Susan Amin here at Getslate and I here at Getslate and Amin, which I was confused because I'm not in my normal place. Um, I thought Jack Sexton uh, comfortably won that. Uh, shout out to Nero for coming all this way and Amin. Welcome back to Getslate. First battle of the night. If you enjoyed the battle, make some noise! <laughs> Richmond Taxis and Smooth Motion Pictures for the winner for this battle, 
Chuck Sexton. Shut up, Neil. Check him out. Check him out. This tune's for all the people who've ever felt hopeless at some point in their lives.